Let's see the demo of before delete business rule. In this demo, the use case is this that if any user delete an incident, then before deleting the incident, the problem record related to that incident has to be deleted. But we have to check one condition here that the user has to be the caller of the incident. Okay, if the user is not the caller of the incident, then the user is not allowed to delete the incident. Okay, so let's see how we can build this particular functionality in service now with the help of business tool. For this, we are going to open the business tools. So click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator type business rules. Okay, in system definition application, click on business rules module. So this is the list of business rules. Now we have to click on new button to create a new business rule but before we create our business rule we have to open the incident form let's quickly open the incident form in new tab incident dot form okay so our incident form is open and why we had open so that we can get access to the backend name or the system value of the fields of the incident form okay now let's go back to our business rule and in here we have to give the meaningful name to the business rule delete related problem record okay table will be incident so click here type incident select this and click on advanced checkbox and in when to run section, when before, select the delete checkbox. There is no filter condition or rule conditions as of now. Now click on advanced section. And in the condition field, we have to check if the color of the incident is same as the logged in user. Okay. So we are going to type here current dot color underscore ID is equal to logged in user id so how we can get the logged in user id using the glide system global object es dot get user id okay so with the help of glide system global object we are calling the method get user id which will give the logged in user id okay if it is equal then and then only this particular script will run so let's write here our script but before we write our script we have to open the toggle full screen and zoom in so if we go to our incident form and if we see where is the problem field so we can see in the related records this is the problem fields okay so if we right click here we can see the backend name or system name of the problem field is problem underscore id okay now we are going to go back to our business rule and we are going to type our code here so what we have to do is that we have to find the problem record and delete it so for that what we are going to do is that we are going to make a function firstly we are going to call the functions delete related problem record okay so right now we are calling the function and now we are going to declare a function delete related problem record okay now we are going to define the code in the function block here we have to query the problem table so we are going to use glide record query where gr problem equals to new glide record table name is problem okay now we are going to add query gr problem dot add query we are going to use the sys id for finding the record of the problem and we are going to compare it with current dot problem underscore id okay now we are going to type here gr problem dot query okay and if it finds the record gr problem dot next then delete that record gr problem dot delete record okay 
and we are going to return okay so this is our code and we are going to leave the full screen and zoom out okay now save this business rule now we are going to test the functionality of our business rule so for testing the functionality we have created an incident and related a problem with it so let's quickly open the incident list incident dot list okay so we can see the incidents available here and this is our incident which we have related it with a problem record so if we go to our related records section and we will see a problem field here we will going to open this record of problem so this is our problem record and which is associated with this particular incident now if we delete this incident then this problem record has to be deleted okay so let's delete this incident and we are going to copy the number of problem so that we can check again whether this particular problem record exists or not okay so if we delete this incident we are going to click on delete button now this is saying warning okay this automatically deletion of two tasks sla will going to happen if we delete the incident okay let's click on delete button So once we delete it, it's saying record not found. And if we refresh this page of problem, it also shows record not found. It means the problem is successfully deleted. For checking this, we are going to open the list of problems. So let's quickly open the list of problems. Here in the filter navigator type problem dot list in capital letters so that it will open the list of problems in new tab. And if we search with the help of number hit enter we can see no record is being displayed we can see no records to display okay so it means that our business rule is running okay so that's how we can use before delete business rule okay this is a very quick message if you're working in company instances so be very careful while performing delete operations because in company instances you are working for a client always ask for confirmation for deletion from the team members validate your deletion code with the experienced developer or technical lead because wrong deletion operation can cause loss of crucial data okay so be very careful while you are performing deletion operation on company instances. Okay. Write this functionality on your personal developer instance. If you have any queries, write it down in a comment section. If you like this video, do share the video with others. Subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.